Hello everyone, my name is Majid Kassiri, co-founder and CEO of Akhbar Rasmi, first newswire and one of the top three most successful startups in Iran in the last six months. The concept of Akhbar Rasmi is a proven concept. For the companies, we are content provider, distributor. For the media outlets, we are a content provider. This is the Bosphorus Bridge, Akhbar Rasmi is Bosphorus Channel, and Akhbar Rasmi is the bridge. Actually, uh, there are three unique things about Akbar Rasmi. First is the market opportunity. It's a huge untouched market. A market of more than 1,300,000 companies, 400,000 of our mid-sized companies looking for a PR solution to get media exposure. And actually, in the aftermath of Iran's nuclear deal, a lot of companies are rushing into Iran, and it's a comp competition getting into cover news coverage. But how many news wires in Iran? Only us. The other uh, market opportunity is the journalists and freelancers and media outlets in Iran. There are more than 60,000 plus journalists and 8,000 plus uh, media outlets, but how many news wire to serve them and get them the news of more than uh, uh, 400,000 companies? No one. So, uh, the second thing is the technology. The technology helps the companies create an account and then create the content that journalists love to receive distribute it effectively, and then, in real time, collect media impressions and feedbacks. Very simple, very effective. That's why, up to now, 400 companies have registered the system and using it as a tool to get media exposures. For the journalists, uh, we help them receive what they want, how they want, and when to receive it. So the journalists love us, they control their inbox, and we are providing with fresh, high-quality content. That's why up to now more than 2,000 journalists have subscribed into system. The third one is the team of most talented people in PR industry and technology and journalism in Iran doing this business. What we've achieved right now, we have uh, earned $6,500. We are doubling the very revenue each month. Actually, we've been able to uh, raise $150,000 from a reputable investor. And then we are looking for 500K. Uh, from investor, in international investors, not to help us only by money, but also with international expertise to develop the market, develop the brand awareness, and then develop the technology, and help us expand in the Middle East region. Thank you so much. I'm sure everybody has sort of a version of this question in their minds. How do you think the recent developments in political sphere is going to affect when what will happen when the sanctions are lifted what will happen um, when more interest comes to Iran yes. actually the competition for Indian market has started already before uh, even the sanctions are removed uh, daily uh, Iranian airport lobbies are full of international investors international uh, companies and coming to Iran looking for solutions looking for opportunities actually I guess uh, many uh, attendees here uh, if they're going to attend the Iranian market, they need media exposure, and uh, Akbar Asmi is the only one and the best one who can serve them very well. Thank you. And I want to get a view from Chris as well. Um, if you're interested in the emerging markets, I'm sure you know the Startup Rising book, and that's kind of one of the pillars we tell our startups to start following what's happening in the region. And if you're interested in the region coming from US or Europe, read the book. And if you have kind of a couple of minutes to say what's, what, ha what have you seen since you wrote the book and what's happening afterwards? Why is it important that emerging markets, Middle East, Iran, Turkey, and around is important for everybody else on the planet? Well, I mean, it, everything we've been seeing all morning has made clear why this is all happening. I, I think the bigger problem is that most people in the West just can't believe that it's happening. Uh, I'm about to take my third trip to Iran, and a lot of people don't know it's 120% mobile penetration. So people have more than one SIM card or device. 50% smartphones, Samsung, HTC is everywhere. It's not technically legal, but there's six and a half million iPhones there. Now, uh, I didn't meet anybody under 30 in Tehran who wasn't on Snapchat or Twitter or Facebook, so complete exposure to everything that's happening in the world around them. And I think one of the things that blew me away was I was there a year ago, and 3G, 4G access was maybe a million. And in fact, the government said they were going to roll it out, and a lot of the business people said, no, they won't do it too quickly. But a year later, there's over 20 million subscribers of 3G, 4G. So there's something happening that's part of the global phenomenon that I think will be unleashed. And if the politicians don't mess it up, 
this is going to be one of the most exciting emerging markets that we've seen in a while. I agree. I mean, we see the same thing in the Middle East. Saudi Arabia has a lot more young population than everybody in the Gulf region. The youth population is really going to trigger some of the advertising-based models, some of subscription-based models, and we are kind of seeing the emergence of those patterns. So thank you so much. I mean, if I could, kid, if I could just on one question. I mean, what you're doing here is such a wide open field and so exciting. The good news about the sanctions coming down is that now we have this open market. The rougher news is you guys have been protected for years. How do you feel about global competition coming in now as opposed to the exciting part of it? Any worries or are you just... Uh, actually, open? international players, uh, they are not our competitors, they are our partners. For example, if a company in the U.S. wants to enter the Iranian market and wants media coverage to distribute their news, news and press releases, uh, comes to us because uh, we know the market, we know the media, we are experts in this industry. It's not necessary to uh, personally uh, direct uh, uh, approach to journalists and media outlets. If we, an Iranian company wants to export to, for example, US or Turkey, it's not necessary directly to work with a US news release uh, platform. Uh, we are the partner, so we are uh, working together. This is good news about us. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good job.